Hey everyone, welcome back to me playing XCOM Enemy Within. Last time, Dalek became a bro bro. Nick happened and uh, this is about to happen. Hopefully, if he doesn't die first, then this is not about to happen. This might even become a woman in that case. But that's not the point. The point is that we are going into a mission where we have to capture a live alien, of course. But also, whoa, that's not what I wanted to do. But also, we need to uh, survive and assault the uh, crash site of a UFO. Let's get started here right away, huh? Maybe we can do two missions today if they're fast enough. Pro tip, doubt it, but yeah. Good! Listen up. We're going to be dropping you deep in the Nigerian interior for the next operation. Our target touched down inside a major urban center, and there's a risk of further civilian casualties if we don't secure the area on the double. That is... that is intense. Again, I was wondering if it would be a forest, but apparently... Nigerian forests, rather skyscrapers. Well, not really a skyscraper, but you get my point. Let's see now! Holy cow. That guy's a big guy. So, we're on the streets. Strike one is free to engage hostile targets at the crash site. Perfect. Um, we will move probably Dalek last, would be my guess. As he is the one that is never in cover, and therefore risks the most. I don't like the idea of having two rookies here alone. On their own. Well, hey, that's a functional computer, guys. We have to steal that thing, you know? It's still good stuff, you know? Jesus, that walk. <laughs> Fun times. He also has the flamethrower two, twice per match, or rather twice per um, assault, if you want to call it. Mission? Yeah, mission would be the most appropriate. Thin Man, okay. I can deal with Thin Man. Oh, God. Okay, guy didn't kill one. That's awesome. Vencia missed, but it's still, you know, when Overwatch, Overwatches usually don't have high chances of hitting. He's moving right away out of our sight, is he? No, he's not. Just how much can you walk, son? Alright, uh... Dalek. My Robro. He, he talks kind of mechanically, doesn't he? Kinda cool. Uh, okay, try to kill him. That is a miss, but holy cow, that looks awesome. <laughs> he kind of sounds like uh, the Goliath from StarCraft 1, doesn't he? Like, uh, Goliath ready, or whatever they used to say. I don't even know. He kind of does, though. Okay, 38% chance not to do too much. Mm. I don't want to stick them together, you know. She has 32% chance. Can she, like, hit him if I were to position her, like, over here? I guess she could. We can try it, at least. Although, the map seems to be extending there. We might be able to uncover any other alien hostil hostility that way. So what about we start placing Nick and uh, Perez here. Alright, he has a shot. 45% chance, go for it, Perez. You disappoint me. You're going to be an ideal support. Okay, 38% chance, might as well. Oh, good. Okay. Kaiden is rocking hard this mission, which is always nice. You can go into Overwatch. Where is the meld? I didn't see it actually. It was below the building, probably, right? Pretty much. Okay. Should be quite a uh, simple thing to recover. Okay. Another two Tinman. Fine with me. These guys can flank us, though. These guys are flanking us, aren't they? This is threatening. I don't even tell you. I could run and gun him. Should I run and gun him? Uh, possibly. Let's send him here first. He does have a shot, albeit small one. 
think if I run and gun him here, he should be safe because there is this cover here. See? I think so, yeah. I want this meld. Meld is good. I like meld. Oh, there's the... Oh, crap. No, I didn't expect that. But he should be fine. Ish. You have a 1% chance to hit. Oh, yeah, he is fine. He's completely undercover here. Fair enough. Um, then... It would be optimal if I was able to capture one of those two aliens, to be honest. But I understand if I can't. We're gonna send Dalek to Overwatch. At this point, it's pretty clear he won't be getting a clear shot at the enemy. They're here, right? I could run and gun here. Try to make something happen behind that car. It's not gonna be full cover, so that is actually threatening. But it does flank him. Kill him. Good. Alright, there is at least one more Thin Man aside from this dude here. Can we actually get a shot with the pistol? 30% chance to do 2 damage. Better than nothing. It's a miss. Going into Overwatch wouldn't have been that much of a use anyway. But it's still awesome. Uh, I think he's detestable. Going to Overwatch. Uh, you. You're gonna go here. He doesn't get a shot. Fair enough. I, I suppose this could be it, actually, after these two guys are dead. Oh god, Dalek. Yep. Okay. I don't even know what that's supposed to mean. Oh god. Nick, don't kill him. Good. You're not supposed to be updated. You're not supposed to become anything else but a rookie. So this guy is probably gonna take a shot at Gaiden. And he misses, thankfully. Okay. Okay, that alien doesn't know what kind of trouble he's into. Uh, Tis. Tis, 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 Tis. Perfect. We're gonna do something stupid right now, guys. Good. Uh, oh, Vancia doesn't have the thingy. Oh, I forgot about that. Ah, that's unfortunate. Ah. Doesn't mean I cannot get to him and surround him, at least. Hmm. I really would like to capture a live alien, but I understand if I can't. I understand that. Can we get a clear shot with uh, with him on the outsider, though? If I place him here, he might be able to hit him. Yes. Not enough ammo? But he has... No, I guess not. Can he hit him with a flamer? No. Okay, you're loading. God damn it, what do I do now? No, I guess we're just gonna postpone this for one more match. Although I would really like to... Screw it, we're gonna go to Overwatch with our units here. So, future T's don't die. That's all I ask for you. Gaiden is going to slowly start approaching towards this location. By next turn he should be able to capture him by going here. I think so. So he is surrounded by three Overwatches. The only thing he can possibly do is... He's an idiot. Okay, he's dead. He's alive? He's dead. Nick. Good! Useless. I like it useless. Good enough. I'm happy. What is he trying to do with his life? Yeah, shoot at Nick. Yeah, poison Nick. He's a useless man. Kill him. He's gonna shoot Dalek, he's probably gonna hit Dalek. No, he's not! I'm taking fire. <laughs> I'm taking fire. <laughs> That's kinda badass. And I can't do it again, can I? Yep. Nope. nope, I can. I can see why a support could have a uh, stunning gun or whatever you call it, arc thrower. I can. Uh, 
they don't see me from here. What if I just hunker down, to be honest? Uh, okay, Nick, you're useless, but try not to die. I mean, you can die if you want, I really don't care. Fucking hunker down, I guess. Same with you, Tis. And he can genuinely get the outsider now, can he? Teach him a lesson. Nope, no don't. Okay, never mind. Ugh, Dalek. Theory she can reload. I'm doing this just to capture a live alien right now. I'm risking my squad mates. Oh god, Dalek, I didn't know. Oh god. How the hell did that happen? I'm not even seeing him right now. I don't have a problem with Dalek getting hurt, actually. Dalek is strong. Dalek can... Ugh, well, whatever. Can you capture this son of a bitch now? Uh, probably. If you don't capture him, we're gonna be in trouble. 90% chance. Good! If he can begin uh, interrogating, yeah. No, wait, first Dalek. He has a lot of health. How do we attack this dude? I say just go into front lines and kill him. That's dashing? That's bullshit, not dashing. Hello, son, how are you doing? 46? Oh no. Burn to death! Shut up! Shut up! While certainly effective at killing aliens, they also destroy the artifacts we're hoping to recover from the bodies. Well... Just something to consider. Everything by the numbers. Uh, okay, uh, Dr. Fallen just raged, raged on me for, for stuff. So hopefully now we're gonna have a clear sheet until the council report. Dalek has been promoted, that's awesome. Alright, so advanced fire control. Shoot from Overwatch. No longer suffer any aim penalty. That's really nice. Converse victim defense when in Overwatch. F advanced fire control sounds pretty BA to be honest. He's quite defensive to be to be honest, additionally to that, so might as well. And the nearest visible enemy suffers minus two aim and cannot hit, critically hit this unit. So there is also that. So, sadly, Gaiden and uh, Nick, well, not Nick, but Gaiden got hurt, so that is that. Venezia got one kill, I believe, or two, even. One or two or something. I don't know. We got a Killing Machine Service Medal, that's good. It wasn't easy, but this could really be a turning point in our research. Yeah. Not only can we interrogate the subject, but bringing an alien back alive provides us with a much better understanding of their physiology. Impressive work, indeed. Preparations in the containment facility are well underway. Do we actually have any research going on? Yes. Shut up! Subject immediately. I'm confident we can safely house it within the containment facility, but I can't say for how long. Oh, we're gonna award this two will per different nationality in the squad. Two. Uh. Tyrus. Congratulations, you're hurt, but you're getting medals. How cool is that? I'm pretty, pretty sure it's cool, to be honest. I mean, if if, if uh, I would get medals for being hurt, I would be hurt all day long. Okay, um... Experimental warfare, new soldiers arrive at XCOM HQ in three days. Council report in seven days. There still could be a terror mission underway. <sighs> it scares me a lot. No missions, please. Sign your research. Perfect. Foundry available for construction. Reaper rounds available for manufacture. Flashbang grenade available for manufacture. Phoenix cannon available for manufacture. That is a lot of things available, guys. Oh, yeah. Thin Man, uh, six days. Okay, let's see. Alien nav computers. This would um, give me the uh, thingy. The satellite nexus. 
Beam weapons, not needed. Carpus hammer, slow, slow, slow. We have very few scientists, sadly. I'm gonna go with the Thin Man interrogation, actually. Let's allow this cinematic to go. Quite a chill dude. Quite a chill dude indeed. Uh, is the council report gonna be before the interrogation? Yes. Ah! Yep. Changed their tactics, but why? Why do this? It's a message to the entire world that nothing can stop them. I would run, son. I would run, 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 you fool, run. Hey, he's running. That is a dead man. Hello. Yep, that just happened, son. You became a zombie. Oh, Cologne. We're in Germany this time. Yeah, I know that many people don't know that Cologne is actually Köln in Germany. For some reason. It's pretty obvious, you know. The Cologne water also comes from there. You know, the, the scent, the thingy, the Cologne. You know? It comes from there. Send Sky Ranger. You're not coming with us. Who's coming with us? Uh, Brand is coming with us, of course. And uh, Lieutenant Perez is coming with us. However, we're gonna edit his loadout and give him a grenade. No, we're not gonna give him an arc thrower of all things. How much time till... Uh... One day for space, beef jerky. Deadbolt guy. Shoe is three days and Ninja Cat is eight days. I think narcotic, we don't care. Okay, uh, let's return tires here. There we go. This is gonna be our team to assault the uh, terror mission. Let's do this. Two missions in one episode. I'm glad we returned to this after like four episodes in a row being one mission. Very tedious, slow approaching missions. Begin assault. Our target site is near the German border. We've gotten reports of alien activity taking place in a densely populated urban center. We should move to secure the area and minimize further civilian casualties. We're apparently on a river. Does Cologne have a river? Probably. Most cities have rivers if they're not on the coast anyway. Most but not all cities. We're not on a river, we're literally in the middle of the ocean here. Solid copy, Big Sky. Strike one has been given the green light. Your highest priority is to protect those civilians. Yep. I'd love to protect them, but I'd also like to kill aliens as fast as possible and get home safe. I'm not kidding when I say that this mission can be hard. Into that yeah. You were in that location. Alright. And the bro bot. Bro bot. All right, there we go. Overwatch, 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 Overwatch. Also, with Ven being captain, we can actually get squat, uh, squat, uh, squat thing too. Hello. This specimen is nothing like the others. Seems like they got one of everything. Just kill one. We killed one. I like this. Those combat! Oh my god, we're getting so many shots! <laughs> this dude is so friggin' dead. What the hell? 
AI, what are you trying to do here? Oh wait, I think I did a mistake here. We're just about to kill two of these guys in a matter of seconds. What the hell was that? That's silly. Alright, now I know why that one episode ago uh, Vencia didn't uh, lose her actions. I believe that if uh, the first... Actually, I'm gonna check. Um, not making metal. Uh, rapid fire. Is it a correct? No. Close and personal. First, no, this was... Does not cost an act. Yeah, there we go. First standard shot made within four tiles of the target. Does not cost an action. Cannot combine with run and gun. So yeah. She's quite a badass. Alright, we <laughs> killed two crystalis. Chrysalis, and Chrys no, Chrysalis is a weapon in Dota. What am I talking about? Chrysalis... Zzz, zzz, in a matter of seconds, which is always nice. Uh, there's probably gonna be a bunch of floaters too. But I'm not too worried. Goliath. Alright. He could genuinely be named Goliath after all, I don't know. We could start going here and there with Tyrus and Brent, but I don't like the idea of splitting up my team too much. But I'm pretty confident that Brent can enter from these windows anyway, so we're gonna rush, or rather dash, Tyrus all the way there. All the way there. 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 My English today! Sorry guys, sorry. We're gonna go into Overwatch, you're going to reload actually, you might as well. I have no idea who killed the Chrysalis. One uh, was, of course, Ven. The other one could have been either Tis, could have been. Oh my god. Lots of people already dying. That's unfortunate, to be honest. But we know more or less where the shots are coming from, so that's good. Hey, you're gonna be saved! It's your lucky day! Think. Yep. Yeah. Alright. Alright. Um. Finder, you're going to be going here actually. Let's save the civilians. Even if you actually eliminate all the aliens. What the hell did that civ. Are you crazy, civilian? He uh, just passed through the freaking window. <laughs> what the hell? Um, we could save the civilian too. Might as well. <laughs> this voice is so badass, by the way. I just love it. Okay, everybody into Overwatch just for safety reasons. So, free deceased, free saved. I'm hoping that we can get over 50% people saved. Because it's uh, depending on how many you save. Hello. That is a miss on target. You probably cannot shoot anymore. That's sad. Okay, there's an Overwatch. Okay, two more. Okay, Rookie Perez misses again. Of course you are, hopefully. Jesus, how many Overwatches? Everybody misses today. Not the day of the Overwatches, aside from the Chrysalis. Chrysalis went well. Oh crap. Yeah, everybody's flanking them. Um, theory I could dash Van here, but first, let's preoccupy about Perez. You get a flank shot. 65. Alright. Do you have a shot? No, you don't have ammo, which is unfortunate. But you can get close and start shooting hell. Besides, you're kind of a resistible person, I'd say. How about we place him here? He's going to alert the civilian who's going to go out and give cover to Ven. Besides, he can still shoot his flamethrower. Start moving towards the ship. We can hit both of these guys, might as well! <laughs> Sure, I lose weapon fragments, I don't care. Ah, uh, okay. 
that was taken care of quite adequately so if I might add if you go here are you going to be out of cover probably you hello take your time no worries it's not like oh god that is a mess son he missed you no worries everything's fine so we see two of them are we even undercover this way we kind of are but how about we position ourselves here it's gonna be closer we can run and gun and the civilian is saved of course because Vent speaks in Polish he doesn't understand um, 2 times 61 or 2 times 53 let's go with the 61 okay that's great all sorts of badasses were happened there This might as well be the last few aliens on this mission, actually. Or rather, the last alien right now. We keep the res. Brent the Brent. If you go there, can you hit? You can. 50% chance does up to 4 damage. It's gonna be very, very unlikely to get the kill. But, well, damage is damage. I'm not gonna say no to that. Rookie Perez, um... Just stay in Overwatch, I guess. Uh, you're going to reload. Uh, yeah, you're gonna reload. Let's see what he does. He moves back into cover, and that is it, apparently. 72% chance? That's a lot of chance. What we get closer? Of course, now my chest is gonna be fudged. No, 96% chance. You're dead, son. Woo! Excellent work. That was brilliant. 15 out of 18 was really, really a good score. I think I actually managed to score a perfect 18 out of 18 once. But it was a very late game terror mission, and I had really good guns, and basically I had two snipers and just killed everything from afar, and that was it. That's actually good, I like that. That was really, really good. Two quick, well executed missions. Nick got hurt, that's the most important part. So, hopefully, Dalek gets another promotion now. I doubt it because I believe Max get really actually. I'm glad everyone made it back safely. What the hell is a Caliban? <laughs> Wait a second, I have to check this out on, uh, on Google. What is a Caliban? <laughs> I have no idea. Caliban. Okay. People are probably gonna tease me for not knowing what a Caliban is. Is one of the primary antagonists in William Shakespeare's play The Tempest? That's it? Good. You're an evil man now, Dalek. You're an evil man. Congratulations. Vital point targeting. Confers two bonus damage against targets that have been out of seed. Oh. Okay. When the mech takes damage, all further damage will be reduced by 2 for the next 2 turns. That is actually cool. Both are cool. Uh, but in theory, I believe this is better. Because 2 bonus damage against targets that have been out of seed isn't a lot late game. It can make a difference now, but... In all honesty, I don't think it's that much of a big difference right now. Or rather, later. I think I'm gonna go with the damage control. Uh, yeah. Besides, I don't really like autopsies and I might not do them early. So yeah, he's a surgeon now. He has become an assault! Oh god. Another assault. Everybody is becoming assault. He's still not getting a name, because he's only a corporal, fair enough. A sprinter, three additional tiles, covering fire for him, because we said we would do that. So, you're gonna become Artis. You're beca you've become an assault. Okay. Okay. Panic has decreased across Europe. That is actually brilliant. Look at that. Now, essentially, if we get another mission before the council report, probably we won't. We will be having a nice time because we just pick Asian. We're gonna be safe with it. 
That's really good. All right. Your soldiers arrive at the next camp. We're gonna scan for activity, see what happens. Everyone is. All right. We are extremely impressed with the progress of the XCOM project thus far, Commander. Your recent results were beyond our expectations, and that is not a statement this council makes lightly. Yeah. We will be in touch, Commander. Perfect. So now we can go do a bunch of stuff. We have lots of money. Our worst suspicions may have been true after all. <laughs> They're not just here for abductions. They have something else in mind. Mm, let's see now. Flashbang grenade. Sounds kind of cool, but I need a couple of these. I'm gonna make three of these. Uh, we have ten, two satellites getting ready, so that's not a problem. Flashbang grenade. Uh, Reaper rounds. Experimental ballistics have led to specialized conventional weapon load. It can cause substantial extra damage to affected targets, but the additional casing elements make it less accurate at long range. The round will not work with pistols, though. I suppose this is essentially a good shotgun kind of weapon. It gives more critical chance. All right, fair enough. The new engineers arrived this morning, Commander. We're always glad to have more help down Actually, here. Our Augment? service suits have faced the trials of battle and were proven effective. Oh yeah. As we continue to deploy our mech troopers, they will grow more accustomed to the suits. And if fortune is with us, help put an end to this conflict. And at this point, a foundry would certainly help us further hone the effectiveness of these new weapons and equipment. Of course. Recommend we get started on construction Actually, what do I require? Develop new combat items and improve current item in the foundry. The facility counts as a workshop for adjacency benefits. So essentially we don't really have to build it here. It would be nicer if we built it here. But it won't change anything if we build three workshops here because this is all going to be adjacent. You know? Essentially. And foundry is really nice. Foundry is really really fun times. Uh, I'd like to build another satellite uplink but we lack the power. But in, to be honest with you, a satellite nexus would be even better. Let's just scan for activity, see what happens. Okay. Fun times. So, how'd it go, Doctor? Better than expected. Before the creature expired, I was able to extract some new information from it. You're saying that thing spoke to you? Not precisely. But when you have access to a creature's brain, certain patterns can be discerned. Recent images and thoughts. And what exactly was our late friend thinking about? This particular image appeared in the creature's thought pattern several times throughout the procedure. We've already met that thing, Doctor. This is hardly the kind of breakthrough we were... And there was a neural link in the creature's mind between this image and this one. That's the thing that pulled a disappearing act when we shot down our first UFO. And let me guess, you want to poke around in its head too. It is the next piece of the puzzle. And this time, instead of shooting it, I suggest we try to capture it alive. Spoiler, we already did, you stupid dummy. Ugh. Carry on. Actually, why not? No, not carry on. Uh, research the outsider shard. UFO technology research credit earned. I have no idea what this is supposed to mean, but I guess it's fine. Eight days for the outsider shard. This is actually a good way because this is actually a good thing because we're researching the outsider shard is going to give us a mission which is going to reduce panic worldwide. So essentially, that mission is basically a last second save if you have countries in the highest alert and the council report is about to get in. And you just want to use that alien mission basically to lower all the things. You you basically min max in this game. Essentially, that's what I'm trying to say. We really need more scientists, by the way. But I'm gonna research the alien nav computer first. It takes only seven days, I might as well. Don't understand. Neither do I. Such advanced technology against innocent civilians. In times of war, there's always a leader, a general, <clears throat> someone giving the orders. These aliens can be no different. The real question is... What sort of power or authority does it take to control such a vast range of alien species? 
What incentive do they have to follow through with his plan? Probably must be a very long four-headed dude, right? Handed dude, sorry. Okay, abductions. We picked up multiple requests for assistance. Abductions in progress are marked on the hollow globe. Uh, I think the U.S. might be a bit in Dr. peril. Interrogation eh. certainly is efficient. You'd never know it by looking at her. That woman is an alien to worse nightmare. So basically we have uh, Asia, South Africa, which are a bit in trouble. But we have three missions in Canada, so that's not a problem. It's gonna increase the uh, level of panic into four for both Canada and US. Yeah. Marseille, we're not going there again. And Cordoba, which is in Argentina. Or Argentina, I don't know how to pronounce it actually. 200 money is basically what I need, so I'm going with that. Now let's see, Squatty Perez, Costumize, first name. I don't know actually. Tis Desirus, Tis Desirus, Tis Desirus. No, Mod, right, Mod, of course, what else? Mod Desirus, Arvis. Is that not gonna. Arvis. Harvest Desai? Is that how? Uh, wait, how about we? Yeah, actually, let's do that. Harvest. Is that how you spell it? I don't even know. Desai. Desai Harvest. Harvish? I ah, have no idea. Harvest Desai. Yeah. Sounds cool. Uh, my life for Desai. Yeah, that, that was also a StarCraft reference. Okay, hair color. I think that's fine. Um, he's Hispanic, I guess. We're gonna make him Caucasian, because I think he is Caucasian. I don't know, I'm not sure, actually. <gasps> wait, 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 This is... COOL! <laughs> oh, he's gonna hate me for that. Is he Caucasian? I think so. ARE YOU Caucasian, Tis? Changing race is the most racist thing in the world, by the way. They shouldn't allow this. But... Hey, this, this looks like a pretty chill face. Okay, facial hair. Uh, let's see if there is any cool facial hair that we can give him. Uh, not really. He's gonna be without facial hair. I don't know if he has it or not. Either way. Armor deco. Whatever. Color. I'm gonna go with something nice, possibly. This is actually cool. I like this. Alright. Um, is there anyone else that we can actually pick? We can actually pick a lot. So this, uh, this is not gonna come with us, but I still costumize him just because why not? Because I want you to see him. Okay, Deadbolt, Caliban, Hazard, Vita and Disco are coming with us. Getting things um Also, I, I raised my finger there, like I would, like I have to say something. It's not like you saw it. There we go. You're not coming with us, Petrova. Um, so everybody seems to be. Gaiden said that he wanted to be a Robro too, which would make sense. We have lots of assaults. So how about this is going to be our second assault, and instead we make uh, Gaiden our second. Robro. Seems like okay. I'm gonna ask him again, just in case. Uh, if he wants it up, absolutely, you know? Okay, so where is this service, the Spanish dude? There we go. First and foremost, edit loadout. Loadout. You're getting a frag grenade. Should I make items available? Accept. Edit loadout. You're getting a scope. It's good to have these two guys back. Load up. Um, okay, he has three of those. This can actually get the Arctro. Yeah, let's risk his life. Hell with it. Alright, how does this party look like? Yeah, I like it. 
Anyway, I'm gonna pause this right now. Thanks everyone for watching. Enjoy the next episode. We're gonna do stuff. We're gonna search the outsider shard. We're gonna do a bunch of things. Until then, be well. Bye! This was a loud and gaming show. Thanks for watching.